This is Lesson 11. Multiply decimal fractions by multi-digit whole numbers through conversion to a whole number problem and reasoning about the placement of the decimal. Our first problem is 7 and 38 hundredths times 41. So this time we're multiplying by hundredths, whereas in the last lesson we only went to the tenths place in decimals. We're for, first going to estimate this answer. 7 and 38 hundredths would round to 7. 41 would round to 40. 7 times 40 is 280. Both of our numbers rounded down a little bit, so a real answer should be a little bit more than 280. We have 41 units of 7 and 38 hundredths. I want to rename our 7 and 38 hundredths as hundredths. If we think about how many hundredths we have, our unit form of this answer, we have seven hundred thirty eight hundredths. So we can break it up, we can decompose it into seven hundred hundredths, thirty hundredths, eight hundredths. Continuing with our area model, we have 40 plus 1. We're ready to multiply and find our partial products. 8 times 1 is 8. 30 times 1 is 30. And 700 times 1 is 700. In our next row down, we have 40 times 8, which would be 320. And 40 times 30 is 1,200. And 700 times 40 is 28,000. Now we're going to do the standard algorithm. Continuing with using the unit form of our 7 and 38 hundredths, we're going to call it 738 hundredths, multiplying by 41. 8 times 1 is 8. 3 times 1 is 3 and 7 times 1 is 7. Notice again, it matches exactly our partial product in our area model. We're now multiplying by tens, so we put a zero in the ones place. 4 times 8 is 32, bring our 3 over. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 3 is 15. We bring the 1 over, 7 times 4 is 28, plus 1 is 29. 29,520 comes directly from this part of our area model. We add these together. 3 plus 2 is 5. 7 plus 5 is 12. 1, 9 plus 1 is 10. And we have 30,258 hundredths. We want to convert that to standard form. When we do that, we get 302 and 58 hundredths. Our estimated answer was 280. We knew our real answer would be a little bit more than that, so the answer we got is reasonable. Here's another way to think about this problem. Think of 7 and 38 hundredths is being multiplied times 100 to get the whole number 738. Multiply by 41 and get 30,258. That product divided by 100 would be 302 and 58 hundredths. So we can pretend the decimal isn't there by multiplying by 100. We put it back in by dividing by 100. That way we're not dealing with decimals when we're multiplying. We're dealing with whole numbers, which we know how to do. Our thinking is 41 times 7 and 38 hundredths times 100 equals 30,258 divided by 100, 302 and 58 hundredths.